Democrat and Republicans have been in control about 50-50. They've had control of the House and Senate while they were in control of the presidency about 50-50. They've had it not in control 50-50. And, we're, and look where we are. They both come up about the same place. I don't but care th- about that. I care about our culture. Okay. I'm disappointed that I can't get you to just out and out say that Trump is a completely different animal than the politics on the left and the right that we both agree is very uh, lacking on both sides. It begs but the that question. He is a completely different element and much more dangerous. This is Bill Maher, one of the most popular political commentators on the internet as right now, and he really hates Trump. Why? Because he is Trump. You are a rude, terrible person. And it's not like Trump is really that great of a person, by the way. But Bill Maher hating Trump just because he's Trump and he doesn't have any evidence to back his reasoning is just pretty stupid. Let's be real. Hey, what is happening, guys? Dr. Beastie here. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about Bill Maher and why the only reason I believe that he's an absolute moron is because obviously he only hates Trump because he's Trump. He still votes for a lot of these idiot Democrats that don't really know what they're doing. And he's clearly stated that he hates all of them. And he actually admires some pretty far all right dudes like jordan peterson elon musk yeah elon musk is heading towards that direction by the way and believe it or not milo yiannopoulos i think that's how you say his name that gay guy who believes that he cancels feminism like seriously what the hell and it's not like i'm trying to say that oh these people are evil monsters avoid them at all costs no that's not what i'm trying to say Obviously, it's good to hear all sides, but you got to consider the fact that these guys do believe in some pretty radical <laughs> that has been proven to not really be that true. So tread carefully. Yeah. Bill Maher is the type of person that even though he doesn't really believe in the democratic way or whatever the hell you want to call it, he will still be on their side when, let's just say, the whole Russiagate thing happened and they were claiming that Trump was fully responsible for it. He would be on their side saying, Trump loves Putin. Just like Milo with his husband before he started claiming that he's now ex-gay and stated that he's been demoted to housemate like he's his slave or some. A month or so ago, I tossed my engagement ring into the Pacific Ocean <laughs> and I moved to Florida. <laughs> I'm here partly to share my testimony uh, here on True News, but also to open a center, a clinic for other men who have been suffering from global homo disease. And Bill Maher is the type of guy who will fight for your freedom of speech, yet at the same time deny Trump's right to freedom of speech, which, yes, a lot of the stuff he says is really, really bad and dumb and just outrageous sometimes. But, I mean, isn't he just as human as everyone else? It's like if I were to say that all conservatives are being attacked when it comes to freedom of speech, yet at the same time they'll go after any left-wing person who has a different belief system because they don't like it. It's not correct. Political correctness is a very important thing in politics. Another reason why I think Bill Maher is a total buffoon is because he claims that he attacks both the left and the right just as equally because he's a moderate. He's a moderate, yet in reality, it's almost like he's going after the left more than the right, which I don't have a problem with, okay? I mean, this is America for God freaking sake. This is not Canada or Australia or communist China. You have the right to go after whoever you want. It's just when you lie like that, it makes you more suspicious. It makes you more suspicious of a person. When I'm a superstitious man. And don't even say that you're against wokeism because you literally vote for the people who openly say that they promote corporations who profit from trans people. Not people like Dylan Mulvaney who just use the label to build up an audience. I'm talking about trans people who live their lives day to day as they please. But yeah, anyways, I don't know what else to say. It's not like Bill Maher is that bad of a person. I do like some of the things he says. It's just, he needs to be more honest. Especially when it comes to some of his bigger fans like me with Beastie. <laughs> if you have enjoyed today's video, please give it a like, subscribe, comment. Just comment anything. I'll read it. I'll maybe respond if it's actually a good one. And uh, yeah, peace out.